In Canada, approximately 8,000 wildfires burn 2.5 million hectares of land each year. The regions most commonly affected are British Columbia and the boreal forest zones of Ontario, Quebec, the Prairie Provinces, and the Yukon and Northwest Territories. As we extend our communities into forested areas, we become more exposed to the danger of wildfire. Insurance Bureau of Canada would like to offer some reassurance against such a formidable foe. We can all reduce our risk of loss to wildfire by increasing our awareness and preparation. Protecting communities from wildfires starts with individual homeowners. Here are a few simple, proactive steps to help make your home more resistant to wildfires. Replace older style roofs like cedar with a non-combustible roof like metal, ceramic or asphalt tiles. Clean your eaves of debris. Dried leaves in an eaves trough are easy fuel for traveling embers from a nearby wildfire. Enclose eaves and soffits so burning embers do not easily get into the wood framing of your home. Landscaping choices are important. There should be no coniferous, no pine, no spruce, no juniper within 10 meters of your home. These plants are highly combustible. Placing decorative rocks along the side of your home, for example, can make a defensive fire line around your home. Store firewood away from the home. Should bad things occur, every homeowner should have enough hose and a sprinkler system in order to pre-wet the roof to suppress embers. Building a defense against wildfires is important. For more detailed information on safe fire habits and what to do during and after a wildfire, please visit partnersinprotection.ab.ca and getprepared.gc.ca. Insurance Bureau of Canada urges you to put together an emergency preparedness kit. It should help you and your family get by without heat or electricity for at least 72 hours. It's simple and easy to assemble. Using a spare backpack, a duffel bag or a simple cardboard box, you can begin by packing it with these 10 basic items. Bottled water, 2 liters per person per day. Non-perishable food, such as canned goods or freeze-dried food, a hand-cranked can opener, a first aid kit, flashlight and spare batteries, a portable radio, either a wind-up or battery-powered model, and remember extra batteries, special needs items such as prescription medications and infant formula, an extra set of keys for both your car and your home, some cash, and contact information for friends and family as well as a copy of your emergency plan. Be sure to add anything else that is important to your family. Make photocopies of important documents such as your insurance policy, passports, birth certificates and other paperwork including the contact information for your insurance representative. It is also a smart idea to make a home inventory list, and maybe photos too, of all that you hold near and dear. A good home inventory will also include the replacement costs of all your valuable possessions. Visit us at ibc.ca. Insurance Bureau of Canada has an easy-to-use template to help you create your home inventory, as well as more details on emergency planning. The copies of your important documents and your home inventory should, of course, be kept in a safe place, a safety deposit box, or at a friend's or relative's house, someone who lives in an area that's unlikely to be affected by the same major weather event. Keeping copies online will also make them always available. We strongly recommend you contact your insurance representative to make certain you understand the details of your insurance coverage before an emergency event. Insurance Bureau of Canada is proud to provide important information on emergency preparedness to help you protect yourself, your loved ones, and your property. Please visit us at ibc.ca.